Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdo. So we have learned about the basic introduction of this hydration and why this hydration is important and how we can enable this hydration we have seen it. So in this video we will try to see about the manual setup how we can do the, uh, the hydration and how we can check whether the hydration is enabled or not in our website and uh, we will see some constraints and also pros and cons of this uh, hydration we will try to see in this video. So by the end of this one so you will be able to understand about what is an hydration concept and how why we will be using this hydration concept in the angler we will be able to understand it. So now normally how do you enable the hydration in angler hydration can be enabled for server side rendering applications only. So this is the money first important concept you need to understand. So hydration will be enabled only for the server side applications only. So if you want to install if you want to create server side means so you can follow my angler SSR guide so to enable the server side rendering. So now if you try to see here in our app.config.ts file so if you try to see in our app.config.ts file I'll try to open yeah here. So whenever you want to uh, have this hydration means then you need to provide this pro provide client hydration. So even triple I will try to explain you in this one. So provide client hydration you need to add this provide client hydration in the providers list. So that is one thing. Alternately if you are using the ng modules concept means in our app.module.ts you need to provide this provide uh, client hydration concept in the providers. So that is the thing. Make sure that the provide client hydration call is also included into a set of providers that is used to bootstrap an application on the server. In applications with the default project structure generated by ng new command adding a call to the app module means would be sufficient. So normally app module would be sufficient. That's it. So now how you can enable how you can check uh, that uh, hydration is enabled or not. So after you have configured this hydration. So now when you try, try to set up the server. So here we are setting up the server. So I am trying to check let it uh, uh, rebuild that one. So here we need to call npm run serve ssr and the project name angular hyphen server. So this is the uh, project. So let's uh, try to rebuild that one. Let it rebuild. So now here we have successfully built this one. So pre render three static routes that is nothing but some in our app.routes.server.ts we have made it and node is running. So let's try to run the node uh, thing. So I am opening the Chrome. I am opening the Chrome let it open. So now here if you try to check here this is our home page home and contact and if I go to the inspect element so we are checking that whether the hydration is enabled or not. So here if you go to the angular and here if you try to check it here you will be able to see hydrated 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 like this in your angular dev tools you will be able to see hydrated and if you want to check the hydration overlays means so these are all hydrated automatically. So this is how you can check whether the hydration is enabled or not. So when you are running the application in dev mode means you can confirm hydration is enabled by opening the developer tools in your browser and viewing the console. You should see a message that includes hydration related stats such as the number of components and nodes hydrated. So here in the console you will be able to see that angular hydrated two components and, uh, and 30 nodes zero components were skipped. So like this will be angular calculates the stats based on all the components rendered on a page including those that come from third party libraries also. So you can also use the angular dev tools here browser extension to see the hydration status of the components on a page. Angular dev tools also allows us to enable an overlay to indicate which parts of the page are hydrated and uh, if there is an address mismatch error or not so we can show it will show I will try to show that one. So this is thing and now if you go to the contact so here the contact is not hydrated if I try to so why because this contact is coming from the client side. So you need to remember that the hydration works only when the HTML is coming from the server side only. So now if I try to refresh this page. So if you are trying to refresh directly the slash contact you will be able to observe that the none of the component is getting hydrated. Why because so maybe in our app.routes.server.file so app.routes.server.ts file so here we are loading the contact that should be rendered in the client side. So client side means automatically the HTML everything will be rendered in the client side only. So you need to make it as a server only for the server side render only the what I come to say the hydration will be working. So here I have made it as a render mode.server and it is changes detected and it is rebuilding so it will take some time to rebuild. So let it rebuild this one. So here running I am running the server again let's try to see whether we can able to see the contact also whether it will be hydrated, hydrated or not. So if I refresh this page it should be hydrated. 
so here i should be able, see here i am able to see the hydrated thing in the uh, contact also if i click on the home so here you are not able to see why because from next onwards the uh, the component will be rend, uh, rendered client side so if i refresh this page so now it the html is coming from the server and it is hydrated so this is how you can verify that the hydration is enabled or not so next one what i want to tell you is the next concept is so here i want to explain you about the with event replay so what is this event replay so for example let's say that uh, when you are trying to refresh this page at the, from the server side you will be able to get the html right until and unless the angular and uh, the javascript and all those things modules downloading and re-rendering this html structure by the time when the user tries to interact with the html thing means so with event replay what it will try to do so it will capture those events and it will keep it with it, with the, with it and when the hydration is completed and then these all click events and all those things whatever the events that has been fired it will be fired so when an application is rendered on the server it is visible on the browser as soon as the server html loads users may assume that they can interact that they can interact with the page but event listeners are not attached to it still way because that until hydration is completed then only it will be uh, event listeners will be attached so starting from version 18 onwards so the angular version 18 onwards you can enable the event replay feature that allows to capture all the events that happened before hydration and replay those events once hydration has been completed. So that is the reason we will be using this with event replay. So that means so whenever any event listeners that has been a user uh, fired means so those all the things will be fired once the hydration will be completed. So that's why we will be using this with event replay. So that is the main concept why we will be using this event replay. So this is all about the concept of the things. And we are having some constraints. So I want to explain to you about the constraints also. So what is those constraints and how we can overcome those constraints and all those things. I will try to explain to you in the upcoming video in the next video. So this is all about how we can check the hydration concept. So what we have did it. So you need to first of all you need to understand that the hydration will be worked only for the routes which is having in render mode dot server. So other than the server applications like pre render or client means the hydration will not be there. And for hydration to be enabled, the Angular application should be server side rendered, not normal client side rendered. So the client application, so it should be enabled server side only. Then only the hydration will work. And in the app.config.ts, if you want your hydration to be uh, enabled means, so you need to provide this provide client hydration in the providers, then only it will work. And also you, with event replay also I have told you that once the hydration is enabled means, first the server render HTML will be displayed on the browser until and unless hydration is completed what will happen what will happen then afterwards uh, the uh, the html will be re-rendered when the hydration is completed so by the time the user interacts with the dom means so those all event listeners will be captured and it will be and it will be replayed those all events will be replayed again once the hydration is completed so that's why we will be using this with event replay so this is also and also i have shown you how we can check that whether hydration is enabled or not and for which components that hydration has been applied those are all the things you can check it in the dev tools and also in the console also you will be able to see that console that how many components has been hydrated and all those things also you'll be able to see the message so that's it guys about this hydration concept how we can check and how we can do it in the next video i will try to tell you what are the constraints and the cons what are the precautions you need to do uh, in order to have this hydration enabled i will try to explain you in the upcoming video hope you understood about this hydration concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions Please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.